As long as you are near, please be near me to the end. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You're the light unto my path. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth gate and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord.
The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the father except the one who is from God. He has seen the father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, when I was in Catholic schools, we didn't have any nuns at that time. They had already uh, departed our, the school that I grew up in. Um, and, uh, but I did in seminary have a few uh, nuns that taught me, and one of them was Sister Claire. And Sister Claire was about four foot tall, but she was known to make grown men cry. And, <laughs> She did. She was my Latin teacher, and uh, she would. It was our turn to translate that sentence until it. We got it right, and it didn't matter if it took the whole class. And uh, boy, she was a fierce one. Um, but uh, anyway, today is the feast day of Saint Claire of Assisi, and it's also the feast day of Saint Philomena. And Saint Philomena was the uh, patron saint of Saint John Vianney, one of my favorite saints. And every time that John Vianney, people would come to him, he was this holy priest, you know, very, very holy priest. And um, people would kind of flock to his little church in ours after uh, a while. And, and they would ask him to pray over them. And, and he could, he was known to heal people. Of course, he would say, it wasn't me 
it was God, but he said it was it's because every time I prayed over someone, I invoked St. Philomena, my saint, and she is the reason that God healed this person. And so anyway, it's just a beautiful thing about how like the saints had great devotion to the saints, you know, and um, hopefully we do too. I was thinking, what would people want more today than a little Greek lesson? And uh, I, I it's, this is so awesome. When we really look at the Greek words that are in the Gospels, it, it, it's so good because our English doesn't always quite, quite get it. When Jesus says, he said it last week and he says it again here, I am the bread of life. First of all, the word bread is, comes from a Greek word, artos, which means an essential bread. It's, it's, it's not like, okay, I could either take a loaf of bread or leave it. I can live on something. But no, it's like that actually like this bread is essential for life. It's, it's, it, it, Bread is almost like, does that word really get it? But it's, it's this essential sustenance and this word artos. But then when Jesus says, I am the bread of life, the word life that he uses, there's two words in Greek that mean life. One is bios, it's spelled B-I-O-S, like biology, like a natural human life or a life of an elephant or animal, whatever. It's like a natural-like thing. But that's not the word Jesus uses. Jesus uses this word, zoe. I am the bread of zoe. Zoe means a divine, eternal, supernatural life. And he says that when, when you consume me, you are consuming a divine, supernatural, eternal life. Jesus, remember, says, I am the resurrection and the life. We eat Jesus at Mass, which means the incarnate God becomes part of us. When I eat a donut, it becomes a part of me. But when I eat Jesus, I eat the supernatural, the eternal, divine life that then becomes part of me. And that's why St. Paul says, you got to live in love. Live in love because if you're eating Jesus, if you're really consuming this divine Zoe kind of life, then you're going to live a higher life here on earth. You're going to, as St. Paul says, live in love, live in Christ because Christ is living in you. And, and you see, that's, so it's not just like this. For 1,500 years, every Christian knew what this was, that we are supposed to consume Jesus, the Eucharist, and, and that that meant every, it's not just like we take in his ideas or his like, you know, it'd be nice if you did this. Or no, yes, we take in his teachings and his ideas, but we are consuming the incarnate God, Zoe, a supernatural kind of life. And when Jesus says in our gospel today, unless you eat my flesh, Okay, the word eat that he uses is trogon. Trogon means to gnaw, like you would gnaw on a bone. And there's another word that he could have used, which is phagon. Phagon means to just like eat, you know, like we would normally eat. But to gnaw, Jesus says we're supposed to gnaw on him. Okay, but unless you eat my flesh, okay, and here... The flesh word, there's two words. That he, one of them is sarx and one is soma. Soma means body, like I have a body, you have a body. That's not the word Jesus uses. The word Jesus uses is sarx, which means flesh. So what the people of Jesus heard, when it, it's so clean in our English, but what they heard was Jesus Christ say, unless you gnaw on my flesh, you will not have life. And you will not have life here or hereafter. You won't have this supernatural, divine, beautiful life that God went to the cross to give us. And you see, when I was a child, I thought that Mass was about watching the priest pray. 
And I thought mass was about looking at father. And mom, you know, would say, be quiet, listen, you know. And, and it, it dawned on me later in life that Mass is actually about something so much nicer and more important than looking at Father's face. Now, I realize I have a very nice looking face, okay? But it's not about that. It is about going to Calvary. Going to Calvary. The, the beautiful sacrifice of Jesus. That is why the church says there must be a crucifix at the altar because that's what's happening there. And Jesus says, unless you gnaw on my flesh and drink my blood, you will not have eternal life. And we believe Jesus. We have to believe Jesus. And this is why one of our jobs, you know, is like Elijah in our first reading. He's in despair. He's sitting under a broom tree, and he's sad, and he's, he's running for his life, and it's hard, and he's famished, all these things. And an angel comes to him and puts a hand on his shoulder and says, come, I know where the food is. And, and we probably can all think of people in our lives who are in famine, a spiritual famine. Maybe they're in despair, they're in depression, they're, in, they're lost, they're sad, they're all these things, they're, they're aimless because they don't have God. And we're supposed to be like that angel who goes and touches them on the shoulder and says, I know where the food is. <laughs> I know where the food is. It's at Mass. And if you don't know what Mass is, let me tell you about it. And let me bring you there. And, let, and if you're not Catholic, that's okay. You can still come. And then I can teach you how to be Catholic. And you can go to become Catholic. And then you can eat gnaw on the flesh of God. And you can take into your very self, into your body, into your blood, into your soul, into your life, your humanity, the incarnate God, and you won't be sitting under a broom tree anymore in, in despair. You'll be living a higher life because we know where the food is and it's here. Nothing but you, Jesus, nothing but you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. First man for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no way. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who receives from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and Lord of God, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the Lord of God. And now in faith we bring our petitions to God, with faith that he will hear and answer us. That the Eucharistic Church may express its communion with Christ by a constant ministry of charity and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that the Father may draw all the nations to the eternal reign of his Son, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that those who see little need for God in their lives may be drawn back to the nourishment of the Eucharist, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may recognize Jesus at this altar, giving himself up in our place as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our sick, bereaved, anything special going on in our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed who received the bread of life may live forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Frank Runnebum, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we turn to you with these and all our prayers. We bring them to your holy altar, where you will give us not a symbol, but your very life. We ask and you hear these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory song is number three, or 535, 535 in your Missalette, uh, Prayer of St. Francis. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks. 
to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Clare, Saint Philomena, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind evidence to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The, the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace of unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
and drink of his blood, you shall not have life within you, and I will raise you up, and I will Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, a few announcements here, everybody. Um, <clears throat> Youth group meets at the usual time tonight, 6 o'clock, at St. Joseph in the Green Space. 
Uh, number two, don't forget to register your children for religious ed classes. Um, like it to happen by September 1st, as the first class is September 4th. You can sign up using the QR code in the bulletin, or you can use the forms on the table in the back of church. Also, starting next weekend at the back of St. Vincent Church and at the back of St. Joseph Church will be a table with a tablecloth that has the signs as items to be blessed. And if you ever have an item that might need a blessing, perhaps a necklace or a rosary or a Bible or a statue or a picture, whatever, you can put it on that table at the beginning of Mass. After Mass, I will bless with the holy water all things and then say the prayer, the appropriate prayer over each item. A Benedict medal, for example, gets a different blessing. So does holy water. You could put a bottle of water if you want some holy water in your house. It can all go back there. I will use the right prayers. And, um, and then you pick it up after Mass. Next weekend is the monthly food drive. Bring some items to share and put those items in the donation basket that is up near the baptismal font. Please. And thank you. Uh, next weekend, we will celebrate the 100th anniversary of the rededication of this current church building. Think about it. A hundred years ago right now, they had one week to put the finishing touches on the structure that they rebuilt in a very, very short amount of time after the KKK burned the building down. And you see that the, in the stained glass window, the fire of the church. But it didn't take them, I just find, I'm amazed at our ancestors who within just about three months rebuilt the whole place. And um, so we will celebrate next weekend um, in the Mass and after the Mass the 100th anniversary of the rededication. Uh, after Mass, the Knights of Columbus will have a breakfast for us in the hall. Please plan to attend. Lastly, this Thursday is the Assumption of Mary. It is a holy day of obligation. Just as we have four Masses on a weekend, we have four Masses on a holy day of obligation since it is our obligation and our joy to attend Holy Mass on all days of holy days of obligation. Uh, there will be a St. Vincent Mass here, 7 p.m. the night before, a Vigil Mass. Um, and then there are, the other Masses are listed in the bulletin. Hope you have a beautiful day, my gosh. What a good God we have to give us such beautiful weather. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play for God on glad tambourines. And let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia.